Well, let me suggest that there's a better way or there's a proper way to figuring out to deciding which position we ought to adopt, and that's by looking at the arguments on both sides. So we're going to analyze the arguments and evaluate them and evaluate the ones that people present for in support of their claims or positions. And what that should do, if we evaluate the arguments that they give, they give you reasons for holding their positions, it should help us in seeking the truth. We should be, if we're evaluating, we decide which ones are good reasons, you know, where it's going to help us get at the truth. And remember, when we're evaluating arguments, it's not like we're using the same criteria for, let's say, political debates, which sometimes sound like, bo you know, they're analyzed kind of like boxing matches. Who won? Who lost? Who looked better? Who looked worse? That's not the question. The question we're trying to figure out is we're trying to decide what it what is it that is rational to believe. And we might make a distinction here between logic and rhetoric. In a presidential debate, the man who looks better, the man who looks more self-assured, the one who aspires confidence, might very well be the, deemed the winner of the debate, even though his reasons for adopting the position might not be as strong as his opponent. Now, these are issues that we go that go under the title of rhetoric, and I want to contrast that with what is a we call in philosophy what is the logical way or the logical perspective. The logic just evaluates the reason the person gives for his position and the connection between the, and the connection between those reasons that he gives and the conclusion now certainly that's part of what goes into rhetoric but when we're thinking of rhetoric a large component of rhetoric is the persuasive value now obviously logic has some persuasive value but there are other things that have persuasive value if you're looking at going out on a date you usually don't use logic, but rather your emotions run wild. Maybe it's your hormones run wild and get you to a decision. There are rhetorical reasons, not logical reasons in that case. And I'm not suggesting that you have to use logic to decide to whom you, uh, with whom you should be dating. And keep in mind, the idea in this is when we're evaluating the reasons to help us decide which position in, in a, on a philosophical question is correct, we're functioning like a jury in a trial. We are going to evaluate the facts, and only the facts, and we're going to let them take us where they lead us.